What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to look at some Legacy of Discord gameplay. And I'm basically going to show you how important it is to be in a, in a dominant guild, uh, especially whenever it comes to plunders. Now plunder is of course a PvP match where you're uh, taking part in it in order to open up chests and you get all this gear from each of the chests and if your guild mates open up a chest you get that reward as well. So the more chests that your guild claims the more rewards that you're going to get which is very very good. Well. If you're not in a top guild, you're not going to get the top rewards or you're not going to get all the chests or something like that. So let's go ahead and look at plunder real fast. And as you can see, there are three stages to it. There is the, the top one, which they call Realm of the Gods. This, uh, this gives you the highest chance of really good rewards. Now the second one, which is Ancient Battlefield, gives you like a medium chance of decent rewards. And then the bottom one gives you the lowest chance of really good rewards. So if you're in a guild that is able to do the top one, uh, which is the realm of the gods and you've got to be arena rating uh, 500 or better in order to enter this one if you're in a guild that's able to do this then you have the best chance of the best rewards in this game and if you're in a guild that's dominating this particular plunder this top one then you're in really really good shape then because you're going to get all of the best rewards that's opened in that particular plunder so we got a plunder opening up in about two minutes and 20 seconds we're going to go ahead and enter into this right right now uh, so uh basically my guild on my particular server is dominating this particular map so you'll see us start entering in as it gets closer to plunder time and uh these guys are going to basically kill anybody that enters this plunder that isn't one of our guild and that means that we get all of the best rewards and we even send people into the one uh down uh one which is the 1000 plunder which i believe was called ancient battlefield and that allows us to conquer two different plunder maps at once which makes it to where everybody else doesn't get a chance at those rewards now is that kind of mean it's trying to be a dominant guild it's trying to make everybody else weaker while we get stronger that's just kind of how the gameplay is done in competitive games so like uh, take for instance you're not letting the enemy win in battlefields just to make them stronger you're trying to actually kill them so they don't get stronger and you're the one that gets stronger so that's how these things are run and uh as you can see there's an enemy that came in our guys are already chasing him down uh going to kill him so yeah uh but the thing is is with a game like legacy of discord if you're not getting the top rewards then you're constantly falling behind the top people so otherwise if i'm in a guild that say uh we're doing the 1000 plunder you know the one with the medium rewards um i could be happy with that i guess but uh the thing is is the people getting the top rewards are going to keep getting the top rewards and it's going to be one of those situations where they're just going to keep on getting more and more of a gap between us uh and them so yeah you're you're just constantly got to go you're constantly going to fall further behind if you're not in the top guild getting the top rewards dominating the top map that's just the way it is how this game is run it's uh might makes right basically so if you're the mightiest in the game you get the mightiest of rewards so let's go ahead and start opening this up and you will see these chests start popping up look at all these rewards these are our guild members opening up all these chests and you're going to see these chests just flying up all right we got to look at the map make sure no enemies are getting any of this all right looking good so far basically if any of the enemies are by themselves if we look at the map and we see an enemy in a room by themselves then we will completely just uh run after that person to interrupt them because we don't want them getting the chest we want to get the chest uh and if we allow them to get any of them that's one that we've lost that we don't get back anymore uh, normally uh we don't have any competition at all in here but it looks like some of the second place team has come in and decided to fight 
that's not usually the case. Normally we're just getting all the chests and nobody ever fights us in this. So uh, a little bit different of a pace, but we're still the most dominant guild. Like during the guild wars, we kill these guys uh, and they never kill any of us in the guild wars. So we're just that much dominant over the other ones. Uh, and that's in large part due to us getting the best rewards and them not being able to get the best rewards. That, that gap is always going to increase. It's always going to be more and more of a shift in power. Uh, as I say, like the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. That's how it is in this game too. The, the strong keep getting stronger and the weak keep getting weaker. Uh, so... Yeah, the weak are gaining in power, but the gap is shifting more and more to where the powerful are going to uh, get more and more powerful. Alright, so we got uh, pretty much all the chests. And these guys from the second place guild that came in and fought us, they just completely missed out on everything. Okay, why I say that is because they didn't get any chests, they didn't get any rewards, uh, and if they would have went to the 1000 map, they probably would have got some of the rewards from their guild opening some of the chest, uh, because we're not dominating the second map. Uh, not always anyway. And, uh, so they would have got some of the rewards for them to come here and fight us. Yeah, they made our life a little bit worse, but we still got all the chests. And that means that those members that came in and fought us got absolutely nothing. They didn't get all those chests that were in the medium uh, difficulty plunder. And they certainly didn't get any in this one. So, yeah, they completely missed out on this. Now there's only two of them left running around because they're chain dying most likely. There's no use in them fighting us because we're just going to kill them over and over. And then you got random people that run in like that and they, they die. So... Yeah, we're the most powerful on our server. There's uh, people on other servers that are like way more powerful than us. But that's kind of why the servers are done the way that they are. Uh, they're they're uh, made to be a brand new server and allow people to work their way up and uh, uh, be competitive even from uh, the uh, very opening of the server, should I say. All right, so it looks like we got guys opening up that one. There's two enemies still running around and our guys are opening up all the chests. All right, we've gotten all the rewards now. Now it's time to wait the six minutes until the next, uh, the, the boss is spawned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stake out a spot to where I'm gonna get one of the minions because uh, I wanna kill the minion and be the only one that gets that particular minion. And uh, I'll basically cut out the part until we get to that uh, boss fight and you guys will see the rest of the rewards that I'm going to get. Alright, now we got the minion to spawn and the bosses are up. We're going to go ahead and kill this minion so we get the rewards from it. Uh, whoever kills the minion kind of gets the... Uh... Whoever kills the minion uh, gets the rewards from it. So we're going to go ahead and kill this minion and reap the rewards of this one. We always let uh, the other people get the other minions. You only claim one at a time. It's kind of just what's uh, fair. And then there's a lot of people that don't care about the minions at all. So, uh, yep, there we go. We got that one. Now we'll go ahead and go fight the boss. All right. So we'll start hitting at him and uh, hopefully he doesn't run off too much here. All right. So there we go. We got our minion. We're killing the bosses now. And as these bosses die, we're going to get the rewards from them as well. Uh, which is going to mean that we got a ton of rewards in this particular uh, plunder. All right. Takes a bit to take down these bosses. They're uh, uh, quite a bit of HP, should I say. There's only two of us hitting this one because uh, most of our team is probably down at the bottom one. Yeah, as you can see down there, they're fighting that one. 
And once that one dies, they'll all come running up here to fight this one. And then we'll fight the one on the west side uh, that does the big AOE that kills everybody all the time. We'll fight him last. Alright, so the boss down there is dead. Let's go ahead and kill this one. Everybody will run up here and assist now. Which would be nice because it takes a while to take this guy down with just two people, that's for sure. Alright, this here folks is the number one guild on this server so we're going to just absolutely smash through this boss. No need to use abilities or anything like that unless we absolutely wanted to uh, because you know we don't want to use upper mana and have to use mana potions. We can do just fine with hitting with our normal abilities. Uh, there's there's no real rush on killing this boss so all right he's down right okay let's go to the third boss here all right now this guy we have to watch out because whenever it says warning boss it will uh, do an AOE around him right there. We got to get out. Yep. If we're caught in that AOE, it'll instantly kill me. Might not kill these other guys. Sometimes he does a second AOE, so okay. He's not doing it that time. But sometimes he'll do a second AOE right then, and it'll really catch you off guard because you'll dodge that first one, and once you run back in, you'll get caught by that second one and die. Alright, we're not worried about the small circle AOE either. We just want the want to watch for the one that says warning boss. There it is, there it is, get out. If you slack on that, you die, man. You die. Uh is he gonna do a second one? Nope. No second one on this one. Alright. Oh! He's doing it, he's doing it. Was it too slow? Oh, he died. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. So there you go. That's a plunder with a top guild. Um, as you can see, the number two guild didn't stand a chance. They had to go to the lower one. They got the lesser rewards. And the top guild is going to keep getting the top rewards, get more and more powerful. So basically, my advice is to either build a top guild or uh, as in the number one guild if you're the number two guild it's it's not good enough um or join the top guild that's just how this game works uh if you join the number two guild and you're not able to get the chest in the top room you're you're just going to get weaker than the top guys on here like take for instance uh this guy right here he's much much more powerful than i am now uh he's been in this guild from its inception I was in a lesser guild for a long time. I was getting lesser rewards. So that will mean that as long as he keeps playing, he, as long as he keeps doing his dailies and doing his stuff, he will always be more powerful than me. He will always uh, be able to stop me anytime he wants. But the thing is, is that if I was in a lesser guild, it would get even worse it would it, his power be so much more than mine to where it'll be like constant one shots you know if i if i allow it to happen if i if i was in a lesser guild he would just always that gap would grow i would get stronger going up but he would be getting stronger a lot faster and going way above what i'm able to accomplish so that's how important it is to be in the number one guild and dominate the top plunder room uh, let's go ahead and leave out of here and I'll show you just some of the rewards that we got uh, I didn't empty my bag so there may be some old rewards in there but uh, this should give you just an idea all right so we'll close down that this is my first time on for the day so all my stuff is not done yet all right so we're gonna go ahead and open up our bags and as you can see we have all this stuff let's go ahead and open it up 36 of these chests all right rare equipment we have eight chests of that 
Let's go ahead and uh, lucky chest here. We got one of that. Uh, let's guild chest. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll choose something later. But um, as you can see, we just had tons of stuff. Three mythic equipment chests. Yep. All that stuff, and that makes it to where I can start upgrading my gear. You know, I, I start having this equipment, all these new equipments. I mean, all this stuff to upgrade and get my character even stronger. And you won't get nearly that kind of stuff if you're in the bottom plunder. Or, you know, if you're not getting any chests at all in plunder because people uh, hit you every time that you're trying to open up a chest or something. The top guild is so much stronger than the other ones, especially as your server gets older, that as long as that top guild's getting the top rewards, that gap will increase, and then the second guild won't even be able to step foot in there without getting demolished. So, yeah. Join the top guild, or make the top guild on your server, and that's how you get more powerful in this game. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy it. As usual, my name is Grim. And I'll see you next time.